PHP MyAdmin over a Docker container. Why do we need it? Well, a number of reasons. It saves a lot of time. It is machine independent and it's way too easy. Now there are two scenarios we can get into. First, running an arbitrary PHP MyAdmin to connect to any database outside the Docker container, which means we can run a database over the internet just by entering the host name. Second, we can create a database within the same container as the PHP MyAdmin and then connect them. So let's start. Our first scenario is to create a universal or arbitrary PHP MyAdmin. And here our main aim is to make the database server field user defined. Create a folder. Let's call it PMA. Go inside the folder. Now, um, again, this is a platform independent process. This process is same for all operating systems, including Windows, Mac, or in my case, Linux. So now open this folder inside your preferred code editor. I prefer VS Code. Create a file and name it docker compose.yml. YML is generally a type of configuration file. We'll write our docker containers information inside this file. version uh, I'm using three now guys I'll recommend going through the docker website before moving forward just so you can understand things going on from here this yes. I'll call the service PHP my admin create the image Um, this image php my admin slash php my admin this is the official php my admin docker image you can go to the docker hub website and find all the information regarding this image i'll leave a link in the description section please check it out so let's restart Let's set it to always ports. You can set any port. I'll be using 8077 because all my ports are occupied. Environment. EMA. Arbitrary. One. This is to create our universal PHP MyAdmin with the server field to be defined upon execution. Now we will execute this. Go to your terminal or command prompt. Local compose up. This will build our container using the image that we defined and then run it. This message will show, which means our container is up and running. Now let's go to our browser and um, check it out. Local host 8077. This was the port that we used. See, our PHP my admin is up and running. And as you can see, the server field is empty. It's arbitrary. We can put any server, any universal server here, and that database will be connected to this PHP MyAdmin.
now let's stop this for once just press control z uh we can use docker compose up minus b minus b is to run it in the background okay um there is a command to check all the running services right docker compose yes stands for processes i think see this is running pme php my admin state is up so when we go here and refresh it it's still running I'll connect this PHP my admin to my database, which is running on Google Cloud Platform. All we need is the host name and the credentials. Let's go to Google Cloud Platform. This is the public IP address, which is the host name. Let's copy this. We paste it here, write the credentials. wait for a second it's connected now we can see my um, database called dentist it's it was one of my projects this dentist moving on to the next scenario where the database is running inside the same container call it TV image it's here, the official one use the latest one five five zero six and inside is three three zero six we start unless stop and user call it to my sql password is three four five seven eight my sql root password we will rerun our docker container by simply recalling docker compose up docker compose up my skill will take some time to build so please leave it for a minute maybe more let's run the mysql server on our terminal uh, let's open a new tab so we can go docker compose execute db mysql root type the password it's running so database is correct everything is good now let's configure our php my admin to host our current mysql server all we need to do is remove this arbitrary um, and add first let's remove this we can comment this now we need to add pma underscore host so our host is this db also we need to tell this service that it depends on uh, this db service okay now let's come here we can stop this 
and we need to rerun the Docker Compose. This time we will run it in the background. The compose up minus B is to run it in the background. Yeah, it's done. We can check it by checking the processes. Both are up and running. We'll go to our browser. Now we'll when we'll refresh this we can see the uh, server or the host name field is no longer there because we have already defined it we just need to type root one two three four five eight see it's running now the php my admin is connected to our local uh, MySQL server, which we just built on our Docker container. This is it. I will upload this on my GitHub. Give it a try and let me know if you run into any issues. I would be happy to help. You can comment your issue right here or you can DM me. The social media handles are provided in the description section. I'll try to post videos on a regular basis. You can recommend the topics also. I would be very happy to cover them. Please like the video, subscribe the channel and try to share it to the people who might need it. Cheers. Mm -hmm.